husband all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums bounced in their heads. And Ma in her clutch, she had I in my cap, had just set her brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, so I opened the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lesson on the days of objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a minute to stay in eight tiny reindeer. The little old drag was so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, come Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Now dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house of the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys at St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the panting and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in his fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his hack. His eyes how they twinkled, his fingers how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump for a jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, he gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk.